everyone, this is Cynthia with Joyful Creations, and I wanted to do a Lether Co. unboxing. This is my first unboxing with them. It is the sixth box that I have gotten from them, and as you already know, I am a big, big fan of their ergonomic crochet hooks that I just absolutely love them, but they have very pretty boxes that they come in, and their boxes always say, Get Hooked. And they make really nice um, gift boxes to give someone something in. I do use more of my Crochet Society boxes for gifting than I do the Lether Co. For a couple reasons. With the Crochet Society box, they come in an extra mailing wrapper, so it actually protects the box. And with the Lether Co., sometimes there's damage done to them, as you can see right here on mine a little bit. Let me turn it so the light catches it. Yeah. And so I don't know if that's just for, from transportation or weather. And then even like right along the edge here, you can see where the color's kind of coming off. Um, on the back is where she puts the label to mail them. And as you can see, it, it takes a little bit of a beating. And it's hard to get that sticker off. In fact, there's like a sticky feeling to it. And you can see where some of the color has even come off from trying to take the label off. So I use, unfortunately, the Lether Co. boxes are beautiful, but I use them a lot for my own storage. I will make a label to put on the blank side and stick them into my um, armoire over there, and it holds different things. It holds a lot of my crochet hooks. It holds um, buttons, um, rose appliques, you know, different little things um, to help me stay organized because, you know, organization is the key. But I do love getting the hooks um, from them. So I definitely, for me, feel that it's worth it. And for a little while longer, we'll continue to get their subscription um, to get those hooks. So are we ready? So like with Crochet Society and some of the other boxes, there's not that cool little, you know, sound. But nonetheless, let's go. Oh. Oh. And one confession. The box came in and I was in production of some other videos and I just couldn't wait. So I'm sorry. So I have already taken a peek inside. So just ignore that I cheated. <laughs> All right. And isn't that pretty though? I love the way she puts that sticker on there. All right. So let's go look inside under the tissue paper. All right. So this is the color of the yarn that she dyed. It's kind of a bulkier yarn. Well, maybe not. It is a hundred percent merino yarn. There's 240 yards in this skein. And they do always come with these cute little labels. That is pretty. And we have a stitch marker. Let's 
a cute little fish stitch marker. My favorite part of the box. Ooh, how pretty. Look at that. I'll admit I'm I'm almost more excited about the hooks than I am about the yarn, but her yarns always have such a rich, rich color. Um, so I'm excited about this one. I'm actually thinking about maybe making a hat or a scarf out of that. That is really pretty. I love those colors. But anyway, back to the hook. Sorry. I get distracted between the yarn and the hooks. Um, but I love the hook. It is a size four hook. That is just gorgeous. I love those colors. And of course, everything, you know, has, has a color coordination to it. So the hook matches like the stitch marker. So, and then there's this cute little book that comes in them. Go ahead and take that tissue paper out of the way. And a cute little Lether Co. Under the Sea collection book. So that is really cute. I like that. It might be exactly the hat I make with mine too. And then she's got an under the sea cow. And that pattern obviously is done with a different color yarn for the picture because it doesn't match. But all right, I want to share with you, and that's all that was in that box. Um, I do want to share with you something from the last box. It was these really cute head wraps. And I did use my yarn and make one for myself. With mine, I didn't make mine as wide because I actually have a smaller head. I know it's maybe not as easy to see with all the hair on my head. And I don't like mine as wide. So... And that was from her A Dream is a Wish collection. But this is mine that I made. And I thought it came out really, really cute. And that's it a little bit more uh, up close. And I thought, I thought I'd show you what it looks like on, so you can see it. I actually will use it more for pushing my hair out of my face to wash my face. But anyway, so. All right. So that finishes our unboxing. Um, I like both boxes that I'm receiving right now, the subscriptions from Crochet Society and the Lether Co. Company. I do tend to somewhat like the Crochet Society box a little bit better just because um, it does seem like there's, you know, a couple more extra little surprises in the box each month. But I do understand the process of what it, you know, takes um, to dye the yarn handmade and get that done in bulk and then her husband actually designs the hook handles um, himself so with that being said um, it, it would be nice to have like one more extra surprise in the box and then obviously you know I wish the box came wrapped in something else but nonetheless I love it I love receiving it every month I will continue um, to receive it 
um, just for the excitement of the different yarns that she dyes and then getting those hooks. So, well, I hope you like this unboxing. And if you would like to get your own Lether Co. subscription, I'll be sure and leave a link in the description box so that you can go check out her website and take a look at um, everything that she has to offer from her yarns to her hooks to her um, actual monthly subscription boxes. And you'll also find that um, sometimes they'll even have past boxes up on the site for sale. So until we meet again, be happy, be joyful, stay crafty in your own way, and I'll see you soon. Bye.